Stretch your wings, Sunan. Aid me, be my eyes. Show me. Come, see my wares. You look stronger already. Could help you in your travels. Finish looking around. I'm off. Be well, friend. This area is off limits.
my eyes, Zunan. Oh, not good. What happened, little one? Mummy's ring. I just took it out to look at it, and a mean bird snatched them off me. What were you doing with your mother's ring? Someone borrowed it, and she asked me to get it back. But now it's up in that tree, and I can't climb that. There's the bird's nest. Something fell from the nest. Here you! Take your hands off my property! That ring is mine! Give it back, I say! Are you the girl's mother? Stepmother! My husband gave me that ring. My stepdaughter stole it from me. She's been a plague to me ever since I married her father. When all I've tried to show her is kindness. She says you borrowed it from her mother. Her mother is dead. Oh, perhaps it did belong to her once. I didn't know. Your new husband gave you his dead wife's ring. We don't have much. I will not spurn a gift from a good heart. He's a fine man, and I love him, dear. But his daughter will never love me. Not while she still pretends her mother's alive. Let the girl have the ring. It is all she has of her mother. Do this, and new bonds may grow between you in time. You are wise, stranger. It is hard to give it up, but it belongs to her more rightfully than I. Take it to her, please. I have your mother's ring. Be careful in the future. We should hold tight to what is precious. I saw you talking to my stepmother down there. Did she try to take it off you? What a warty old dragon. She agreed that you should have it. Be kind to her, little girl. She's trying her best for you. I suppose. I'll speak to mother about it. Farewell, then.
Malevolence. This land bears deep affliction. I should not be seen in this area. Have my thanks, friend. If the bees bother you, boy, maybe do not stand so close to the hive. But I need honey. Just a little. It's for my friend. It's all she likes to eat. She's so gentle and kind, but if she doesn't get her honey, I don't know what will happen.
I've tried poking it with a stick, but it riots them up something chronic. <sighs> My friend loves honey. She has a very sweet tooth. You got the honey? Oh, thank you. Oh, that looks delicious. Leave it on that rock and she'll be right along. Sit and wait with me. She'll be here soon. Winifred looked after me ever since mother and father died. She's my best friend. The other children tease me. Sometimes they throw stones to shoo me away and call me the grubby watcher in the woods. Winifred saved my life. I was curled up on the grass praying that God would take me too. And she scared the wolves away. Winifred, I got you honey! Winifred, my bestest of bears. Any day spent with you is my favorite day. So today is my new favorite day. This kind stranger got you some honey. What do we say? Thank you. All that honey must have given you quite a thirst. Are you really all right out here on your own, little one? Silly. I'm not alone with the very best of bears by my side. Goodbye, and thank you. Come on, Winifred. Shall we walk to the lake? Maybe we can splash in the reeds. Strange fellowship, but then friendship can often be found in unexpected places. Travel widely to become wise, for all things are too easy at home, and the ignorant who sit among wise men will be mocked.
Let's get out of here. Run up the sail. Eivor, we await your orders. You brought your weapons and armor. Aye, Raven Tamer. Good. Now we dig in and wait for our friends. Well met, old friend. When the chance arrived to lodge an axe in the sod of Wessex, you thought of me. Such an honor. Is everything else in place, Eivor? Are we ready to take Rusester? Rally our army. We will drag this mouse from his hole. Oh, my God. 
put them out. See to it.
burning oil! Tetman is holed up in the tower keep! Press forward! Look higher up for a way inside. God won't let us do that. I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Watch my leaf! I'll get it away from me! Before I let you take this fortress! Take this fortress, Dean. Alfred's army will smear your innards across the battlements. We are not here for stone and sand, Thane Tedmund. I shit on you! You and your toy gods! I will not bow to you like some puppet's lord! I would rather die! How much will your king pay us to keep your sniveling head upon your neck? An army marches upon us from the south. A holy man from St. Hadrian's Priory, backed by a field. Ah, then, Abbot. Kinnebert? God be praised. If riches are all you care about, the Church has it in abundance. If the terms are fair, you'll have your freedom. A chest or two of silver for a shit-stained sewer rat. Stay quiet, or I'll not be able to stop my friend from slitting your throat. Ah! Watch yourself, heathen. You handle me too roughly.
I mean no offense, Thane. You're only a hefty ransom to me. Nothing more. This is why you battered down my foot. Down my gate. This is why you batter down my gates. Kill me, men, for a purse of grubby coin. You have no honor. Enough. I'll return you to the Saxons with ten fewer fingers. Ah. <clears throat> you there, heathens. Let this good man go or suffer an iron sickness. And what do you offer us in return? Your lives? We lost many good men storming this keep. It will not be in vain, Christ's slave. Twenty chests of silver! Give them all they ask, Kinnebert! A hefty sum that will leave God's coffers hollow? I cannot give it up without some assurance. Tedmund, you extort me in return for my life? You were swiftly met, Abbot. Not long after these... these scallious worms took my fort. On the Lord's bidding, Tedmund, at prayer, a terrible vision befell me. A host of heathens, your life in danger. A coincidence I find rather... <coughs> rather ominous, Abbot. Do you... <coughs> God help you, man. Are you well? Air! I need... I need air! He's dead. The work of poison, no doubt. No, 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 no! Rouse the man! He cannot be dead! He must not be dead! Poison? How does the man die of poison in our arms? Many great kings and paranoids have carried poison in times of war, as an alternative to capture and ransom. A catastrophe! Alfred will choose another and... By the saints! Alfred! How will I explain this to the king? We followed this road to its end, Cunebert. You may not like where it led, but you owe us our half of the bargain. You shall have your paladin. I need a day. Return to my abbey tomorrow and you shall... Oh, dear, oh dear. These delays are grinding at my bones. We should abandon Cunebert. Find Fulke ourselves. Peace, Eivor. Speak with Giedrich and relieve him of his oath. I'll meet you at Cunebert's abbey. You fought like beasts, escaped from your hell today, Gidrich. Your oath to me is fulfilled. It was good to stand shoulder to shoulder with you against the pox dogs of Wessex. May our friendship endure. This tangle briar of Christians and lords means nothing to me. I'm here for Sigurd. I understand. When you find him again, come see me. 
We'll feast and sing, with mead and friendship to warm us. Agreed. This area is off limits. 